briars on Twitch. All right, everybody's Boom, follow. Boom, to wrap up those briars. I guess I'll have to fit that in there somewhere, hopefully. Boom, that's a briar. All right, here we are, grand finals, three out of five. Boom, wrap up those briars. Boom, for Jeff versus Rev. Wrap up those briars. All right, we're going to count you down. Can we get a countdown from the audience with me? Three, Three two, two, one, Tetris! Oh, we're getting it now. We're getting the audience into it. Yep, yep. And yeah, we'll get some good finals music out of the uh, rock banders. Yeah. Do it. Paramore, our background music. Excellent. Well, rock there. band. We had a yep. Tetris for Friars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's coming, coming soon. That is, we gets out of that YOLO territory, building up high on the left, like we saw in 2016. Triple for Jeff, and he's set up. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. A classic Chris Payne fashion as the uh, Rev. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you uh, being so biased? No, no, I'm waiting for Rev to, I want to rev up those priors. Rev up them priors. Rev up them priors. Keep the well open, got the ball. There we go. Oh, we covered it up. We covered it up. Two well pieces, got that single. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. I'm waiting for those priors to rev up. Here we go. And there it is. Boom. Tetris for rev up those priors. Boom. Tetris for rev again. Wow. Back to Double. back. Back to back. Tetris. Hear the sizzle. Jeff firing back. But Rev's still in the lead. <laughs> we got a classic, though, from Jeff. Just a really consistent play. Yeah, Rev having to clean up here so Jeff can catch up. It's neck and neck now, but that could change. Jeff's ready for the Tetris. Boom. Jeff's just and start inching away slowly but surely with the clean, mature jump. Slightly <laughs> less YOLO. Yes. Slightly, yeah. I saw a little bit of that, that in that last round, but you might want to go, not go YOLO on this station. And we don't want to dance with the devil in the pale moonlight life here. <laughs> that station's out for blood, but Jeff's going to show him who's, who's boss here. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. Into the lead, three Tetrises now. RNG not a factor in his dominance. And that dominance only because Rev is having to do some burns here. That's going to take quite a few singles to get out of that setup. I definitely saw a quite well tension. Jeff now almost 100,000 points up. Rev's going to have to dig, dig, dig. Split singles there. Bring it down. Jeff, beautiful shape. Is he going to be YOLO or is he going to start tearing that down? He's starting to tear it down just a bit. Staying safe. So y'all in the chat better not keep begging me on with these joker quotes. Go on, Tetris for Jeff. Alright, let's get to Jeff turning that. Jeff that Tetris solid. factory is back. Go on, Tetris for Jeff. Wow. Yeah. And Rev getting back down there. Dig, dig, dig. Jeff is just pulling that head. Ooh! Rev's got an ugly eye bar dependency there. He's gonna take the double, he sticks in, he got, he got the long piece he needed. So that generous right station just gave Rev, Rev what he needed. And boom, Tetris for Jeff. Got a similar setup, dirty off center Tetris. Rev playing dangerously, taking the triple into a single. And boom, Tetris for Jeff. Massive lead now, 200,000 points up. Oh, really gonna Tetris, Rev right? is going to have to dig and play aggressive to, to catch up in this situation. He's cleaning up them Friars right there with that Tetris. The Friars need cleaning, Jeffrey. <laughs> and Rev has cleaned up the Friars. He has Tetris ready. Really cleaned up the Friars. Nice there dig. We go. Did the digging. We're gonna start seeing some Tetris is being fried. Where's that long bar? There it is. Boom! Rev up those fryers. <laughs> there we go. Now we're seeing Jeff come back into the bit of cleanup. And now he's ready for another long bar. Nice clean play from Jeff. And single into boom! Tetris for Jeff. Maintaining that big lead. But Rev's coming back a little bit now that he's got his play field set up a bit better. Jeff, waiting for that tuck. There it is. We got Rev 
just waiting right now. Yep, right, waiting for that. Who am prepping for the Flyers? They're prepping for the Flyers and the Flyers all over the place. <laughs> Get hungry, I want to eat some like chicken and something else. I don't know. Enough <laughs> decent places if you're ready to grab a few fryers. Flyers. Flyers. <laughs> fryers. I thought it was interesting that uh, we were on ESPN like a few days ago and uh, yeah, they, they, they did a cut of uh, James Chen and, and myself on commentary and uh, they, they censored out that uh, the, I can't tell it's not, I can't tell it's Asian line. Oh really? Yeah, I was waiting to hear that, and, and I didn't hear it. But no, we're getting a little bit. <laughs> I make it that it wouldn't, it wouldn't be censored. Okay, Rev has transitioned now. Jeff has transitioned now. Jeff's lead just totally dominant here. Uh, Rev is gonna have to clean up and get more aggressive. Oh, and Rev just gives up after that drop there. And Jeff taking the first round for three out of five, but overcoming the curse of the RNG on the left station. Only one. Only one. Rev still definitely in it. Jeff just has one curse. The, the Friars could still rev up here. Jeff saying, R and Jesus, I own you. Okay, count it down. Three, two, one, Tetris! set of start pieces, both players having a nice clean play field. No awkward tucking. Things starting off simple. Boom, Tetris for Jeff, first to get one. Rev burning off the top. Just a little down. bit. Oh, yes, bad RNG there. Yeah, Rev's already got to do some digging there. And Jeff's super clean. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. 100% Tetris rate. Could we see a huge score from Jeff? Rev getting that dig done. Taking a single, running off the top. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. Right now, but Jeff's just pulling away. Yep, widening that lead. It's that consistency. We're open now. Yep, we're business. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. That long bar coming before he can pile up too high. Rev completing his clean. Fires are clean. Waiting for that long bar to cook up some Tetris action. Boom, Tetris for Rev. We are seeing some really good cleanup playing though from Rev. Yep. Rev getting that cleanup done, but just Tetris rate 80 plus percent. That consistency in the play though. Boom, Tetris for Rev. Fryers open for business. Jeff with the drought, that, that evil RNG station. Boom, Jeff showing them who's boss. RNG not a factor, even with a 20 plus drought. Jeff's setup is great, Rev's isn't too bad either. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. Rev, fryer's open, boom, Tetris for Rev. Jeff at the same time, the Tetris is not giving him an inch. 100,000 point lead. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. Widening that lead. Boom, Tetris for Rev. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. That, we're not quite going back and forth, but Rev is catching up ever so slightly. Jeff's play field just so nice. Just consistently keeping the well open. A little bit of burning. Just a little bit of end up Jeff. Boom, Tetris for Jeff, just opening that well up, just in one piece, that's how you have to do it. Boom, Tetris for Jeff, 78% Tetris rate. Jeff is just killing it right now. We Max out pace here, we're at 300k and we're not even, we're at like 66 lines. Boom, Tetris for Jeff, 80% Tetris rate. You need about a 66% Tetris rate to uh, be on max out pace. He knows there on the right side, uh, Rev had a double long bar hit right the long Jeff with the tee tuck there. Let's see how he does this burn here. Off the top. Maybe try for a left Tetris. Yep. He's gonna do it with the Tetris. Oh, burn it down now. 
not content with the triple, he might actually get a Tetris with that setup. Taking a double. Nice. That drought though, that RNG, 30 now. Waiting for that long war. It's going to be so beautiful if he hits it. Oh, he covered his well up just at the wrong time. But he opens it up again. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. Surviving the 30 plus drought. Wow. Oh man, Rev, the coming early on. Jeff dominating that round. Making it look like they switched out the Nintendo's. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff man, making those big team. droughts look easy. And now oh. Rev is down two. He has to take this game in order to stay in the match. Even though we're three out of five, are we going to see a sweep? We will find out. Yeah. Players ready. Tetris Gladiators ready. Three. Two, one, Tetris! Rev starting off with a tuck. Neck and neck here. You all start off neck and neck. <laughs> this is why we have to look at well, Tetris just keeps us all honest. First Tetris of this game. Opening it up. Friars are open for Rev. Tetris ready. Rev closing the fryer, can't use that long bar, but opens it up again fairly quickly. Oh, and he closes it up. Second time in a row. Still not open. Still not open. Another five. Closing the fryers. Open. Boom. Tetris for Rev. Boom. Tetris for Jeff. Jeff's been making Tetrises. He's three up. Rev's ready. Time to rev up those fryers. Nope, he has to close them down. Jeff's Jeff still ready. Well. Jeff closes as well. Right in time. Fryers. Jeff's gonna have to clean up now. Boom! Jeff just gonna rev up those fryers. <laughs> Finally got to say it. <laughs> Keeping that fryer open. Both players ready. Jeff uh, a little YOLO with that build there. He's getting a little YOLO. He wants to keep that. Well open. Having to use the long bar Just to stay alive. But you got the long bar, boom, catches for Jeff. Slight lead now, up by one and a half. Seeing some of that aggressive play again. Bring it down. Rev's definitely got a shot this time. He's been keeping his well and his fryer open. Just keeping them fryers well lit. Boom, catches for Rev up those fryers. He's ready. Good clean build for Rev. Jeff having to do some cleanup. Jeff only ahead by one now. And could Rev take the lead here? Boom, Tetris for Rev. Yeah, Jeff, I, I do agree in the, in the chat that the eyes are telling the story on the right side from Rev. Boom, Tetris for Rev. We are neck and neck. Can Rev take the lead? Jeff having to do just a little bit of cleanup to get back to the Tetris room. Rev, boom, Tetris Rev takes the lead. Wow, neck and neck right now here in the finals. Neck and neck. Now we're neck and neck with uh, Jeff answering back with his Tetris. Both neck. players with decent builds here. Rev having to do maybe a triple clean that up. That's so, good, Jeff. boom, Tetris for Rev. Opting to take the off center or off side Tetris. They're each answering each other. Neck and, and neck. Forth. Neck and neck. Jeff with a drought. Boom, Tetris for Jeff taking the lead, but Rev answers Tetris back and we're neck and neck again. And we are just seeing some extra gameplay here in the finals. Definitely high level match. Boom, Tetris for Rev back and forth. This is, good. This is a great match here. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. Just keep answering each other back and forth. That long bar now. And there it is. Oh. Boom! Tetris wrapped into well Tetris. Excellent. And Jeff in position. And boom! Tetris for Jeff. Comes back and answers. Rev keeping that center well. Nice juicy one. Ready for those priors. Boom! Tetris for Rev. Jeff over there. Just 
consistently getting Tetris though as well. Yeah. Slight deficit widening. Boom, Tetris for Jeff, now up by three. But Rev's been keeping his well open. Yeah, now. Rev's been doing a lot better this round. Yeah, been switching between center and right consistently, but still able to hit the Tetris. Rev forcing himself to do some burns before he can score again. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. That's probably going to mean winding lead. But no, Rev was able to get the left side Tetris there. Good stuff. Rev going to build down the middle, though. He's going to open up on the right. Jeff with a beautiful build there. Just textbook. Keeping that well open. Burning when he has to. Boom, Tetris for Rev. Deficit's still about 40,000. Boom, Tetris for Jeff. Back in the lead. Boom, Tetris for Rev. His answers are right back, though. We're about to transition, so the next uh, line here for Jeff will probably result in level 19. Single and boom, Tetris for Jeff into the transition. 60% Tetris rate. Just on the line of max out pace. Oh, Ooh, no, he's gonna have to burn down on the right in order to get that low enough so it's safe. Okay, can he get it over? Long bar. He's up to turn it into a roof. He's gonna have to get something in there to burn it down. Ooh. Oh, and that's. That's not what you wanted to see. He needs to get something in there to burn it down on the left. So Jeff tops out at 500,000. Rev needs to stay alive and score 40,000 more points in order to catch up and stay in this match. Can Rev do it? Well, we're in level 20 now. It's going to be a little quicker. Yeah, Rev's going to have to burn that down to keep it safe. He wants to survive. Does it with a double. Cleaning up. Dig, dig, dig. Dig to survive. Clean up them fryers. Okay, Rev dribbling down. A little ugly, he can survive it if he gets the right tucks. Ooh, nice tuck, he's got the roll! Oh! And that's not what you wanted to see. He needs to get that oh, long piece in. Close, though. And Jeff. So close. Excellent play in the final. That was a good This is our second uh, desert qualifier here at Game On Expo in Phoenix, Arizona. Jeff, you are two for two. You've won two of these both times that they've had it. This is our reunion, sort of like of Jeffrey Wittenhagen and Chris Tang doing the commentating and Jeff winning something. So, how does it feel? You are going to Portland, Oregon. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, commentary was amazing, fellas. Oh, yeah. Um, I think you guys sound a lot better with the mic on. We sound better with the mic on, not the mic off. How about how about this awesome rock band off key singing that was playing as you were going? I saw you getting into it a little bit. There were times I was getting into it, and there were times I was not getting into it that much. Saw some shrills as people that, that were singing. Yeah, yeah, one thing I was saying um, was that uh, in previous years, I'd see you build this precarious setup on the left. You would dump your pieces there. I call it like piece dumping. When you see something you don't want to throw in there, you build it up, and then you deal with it. And you would get out of situations that, that no one else would be able to get out of while doing that. And I've noticed a slight style change where you play safely. Is there anything, uh, uh, have you learned anything in the last couple of years that made that change? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I'm definitely trying to play a little more conservative when I come to these things. Um, we, we actually noticed that we're like, you're doing a little bit more uh, less traditional Jeff YOLO play. Right, but if I know that my opponent is playing like Right, if you're fighting like a Corian or like Joseph really? or like Green Key, then you're gonna turn on the heat. Exactly. And Is I that what we're gonna see in uh, Portland, Oregon? Probably. Awesome. <laughs> I think with the hyper tappers up there, there's So we might see a return of some there. YOLO from Jeff exactly. because when, when the pressure's on, he's got the ability to get out of those situations. YOLO is the only way. Yeah. All right, YOLO <laughs> Jeff. And uh, great to boom your Tetrises again. Um, great seeing everybody was smiling so much during this competition. Uh, it was an honor to just have this regional. Uh, I things guess as uh, neck and neck as possible. Of yeah, are you gonna come to Phoenix, Arizona every time we have one of these? Oh, I hope so. I'm gonna try my hardest. Yeah, it's a blast. Well, definitely, you made a you know, great showing. You showed that station. You're the boss, and that RNG has no factor in your. Dominance. And I mean, your piecement places were like optimal for it's, that. Uh, the piecement places are, are just, so, just so crucial. Good. Yeah, yeah so. so good. <laughs> so, so crucial. How about that? So, audience, your champion for the Classic Tetris Desert Qualifier 2019. It's boom! Tetris for Jeff Moore! Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. You're very welcome. See you, see you in Portland, right? See you in Portland. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll also be winning a signed cartridge from Alexei Pajitov as an additional prize for uh, emerging victorious here at the, the Desert Qualifier. So, 
you're now getting better prizes as a result of, you know, and uh, with, uh, here's our, yeah, I guess we'll have an interview with our runner-up. Yes. Rev up, them Rev up those priors. So, you did a great job. I saw you playing, you know, during the qualifiers. And, like, I haven't seen you in a qualifier before, but you were, like, the number two seed. So, uh, congratulations on that. And, uh, you know, definitely keep up the good work. Keep coming back. And, you know, Jeff's, like, one of our, you know, we used to call Jonas the final boss, and, and then Joseph Saley defeated him. And Jeff Moore is our final boss for a desert qualifier. So, what was it like going against a legend like Jeff? Honestly, it felt great. And, you know, it was like, I didn't really feel a lot of pressure. I was just kind of glad that I made it as far as I did. It was really just an honor to just sit down and play against him in a match like this. And I mean, we talked yeah. before you went out today, and you were yeah. like, it's a real honor. You're excited to be here. Oh, no. let's, see, let's see your hands. Let's see your hands. Still a little shaky. Yeah, yeah, you were a little shaky beforehand. Had that Corian touch before the finals back in 2016. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, but you pulled it up. You got to the finals, which was awesome. Oh, I know. And then you kept things really competitive. It was it was excellent oh, play. Yeah, you still had to survive, you know, the, the quarters and the yeah. semis, and you had to work your way to get up to that to that level. And I think you're ready to to, to hit a world championship if you can make. Do you think you'll be making it to Portland, Oregon? Maybe. I gotta see. I, I hope so. I remember I'm you said poor. that if you get out of grade. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, school just cool. takes so much out of my account. I just don't have a lot of money right now. Maybe you can start a crowd founder, you yeah, know? Maybe I can. Yeah. Anyone want to get a uh, rev over to, to yeah. Portland for maybe the finals, money. go ahead and uh, <laughs> give it to give it. <laughs> I don't even say Portland, just say, give me money. <laughs> yeah. But that's, you know, that's how it is. You, yeah, it is. You know you're good enough to make it, and you put the effort in, you know, you'll, you'll get there. I will. Uh, I am afraid that I will. It was a lot of fun watching you. Yeah, Thanks for joining us, yeah, Rev. And uh, good we'll job, uh, look forward down. to revving up your priors someday in the future. Yeah, someday we will. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, guys, it was it was great. It was an honor to be here again, competing with uh, with the 2016 World Championships team. Thanks so much, you guys, for uh, joining us on Twitch stream. Uh, we, we definitely want to thank Game On Expo here. Uh, John Lester was on a great show here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we want to thank uh, Steve DeLuca. Um, with his crazy giant glasses. And Goofy Foot, you know, Goofy Foot controller. And we actually, we actually saw had somebody, a, yeah, with somebody was Goofy using foot. Goofy Foot in the top, top four, so. Which is awesome. Yep. And, um, geez, just, uh, And we'll see if anybody can make this uh, video go viral because I say some crazy stuff during this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think it, it just went so fast and uh, went so yeah. smoothly. Really fast. It's nice having yeah. that nice big screen. We're still on that screen up there, <laughs> and uh, you know we're we were on. How many of you out there in Switzerland saw us on ESPN a few days ago? How about that? You know, I mean that's just completely mind blowing that you're on ESPN. Steve's telling us to stop recording is what he's telling us to do. He's like, hey, what you got like done? Well, we're I, I think we're running up the, the wireless bill for oh, like, like being on stream. So and, we, and we, you guys enjoying our stream is uh, <laughs> actually costing money. And just like in 2016, I haven't been at my table at all today, which is a classic worth with Hagen moment. It's yeah, and actually I'm supposed to yeah I'm supposed to support a friend by being at their panel, but I, I just love um, having the classic championships and. Uh, you know, seeing us on ESPN a few days ago, I was just like, wow, this can really get out there. More people see us. That's more exposure than, than we're used to seeing. People like uh, Joseph, who hadn't seen it a few years ago, watched it on, on YouTube, wanted to try it, got good at it in a year. So the more broadcasts we have and the better work that we do, yeah. uh, the more competitors will get inspired to play. And, and just imagine the, game. the reach that ESPN is going to have on potential top tier players. Yeah, can you imagine a 30 year old video game? being played on ESPN in the year 2019. It's amazing. It's, what a world we live in. It, it can be, it's hard sometimes, but it can be great. I always say that every time with these conventions, how, how meta everything is and how, how classic it is, but now you're on ESPN with the classic. I know, and it's, it's just such. I mean, you already hit an hit a awesome thing when you had the Tetris Fusion, boom, Tetris for Jeff, uh, for the achievement. Oh, which yeah, that's amazing. Cool. amazing. And now you're on ESPN. Well, the great amazing. thing was, uh, so if you go on classic uh, Tetris's Twitch, or not, not the Twitch, I'm sorry, the Twitter, the Twitter account, uh, there's all these tweets from people who are watching the Classic Tetris World Championship from around the world on public TVs, so they'll be at like a sports bar or somewhere in public, and they're watching it and cheering for it and watching, you know, Joseph versus Jonas uh, in the finals. I actually, um, let me uh, show what, the one that I got. I was here in Phoenix, Arizona a few days ago, and I went to the Tilted Tilt here downtown, and, uh, I called him ahead of time and I said, hey, do you guys get ESPN too? 
can you set us up with a table? And uh, they did, and uh, we, we went there, and uh, I got to see it's James himself. Chen and myself on TV, live on wow. ESPN2. Like, and uh, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. So hopefully this will get get the attention it deserves. We could be on ESPN again, maybe next year. Come to the World Championships in Portland, Oregon. You could be in our background. What a world cheering. Yeah, it's just great. I love being a part of this community. You guys out there, which definitely extra special thanks to, to Trey Harrison and Vince Clemente and Adam Cornelius for making all of this possible. Exactly. From the bottom of my heart, I never thought this would be a dream come true made reality. And uh, we'll keep playing Tetris. All right. Alright. Boom! Tetris for you! CTW.